Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Happy birthday to everyone who's celebrating today. All right, let's hop into it. Get our universal message. See how we're doing on our soul's journey. Okay, Pisces, you get bring love into the situation. A new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. So on your your what the universe is trying to tell you, you know, with the difficult situ situations with the people that you love, you know, this could be your partners, your family, your parents, your children, you know, and it's like sometimes we can get so deep into our disagreements with each other that we forget that we really love each other unconditionally. You know, we let whatever's tearing us apart come in between us. So this is simply the universe saying this is the age of Aquarius. All this information out here, you know, start to bring a little bit more love into the situation with the people that you do love, the people that you do cherish, the people that you are happy to have in your life. And I think it's just as simple as that. New moon in Aquarius, Pisces. All right. So let's hop into it, you guys. Let's see what's going on inside you guys' connections. See how this person is feeling about you, what they think about the connection. What is this person feeling for Pisces at this time? Ooh, they got a lot of feelings. I see true love out there. Make the effort. Stay optimistic. Feel it financials and career. So it's just that you all got a lot going on. And release your ex. It's all kind of emotions going on with you and this person. All those cards flying out. But be more specific, Spirit, please. Okay. And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this is like Pisces. You must first master the art of self-love. All the love you want somebody to give you, you got to first experience it with yourself. When you vibrating at that level of the heart chakra and you got all that love, you automatically going to attract that special person. So that's the key. You hold the key to your reality when it comes to love. If you ain't loving yourself right, don't expect nobody else to love you right. If you're not being honest with yourself, don't expect nobody else to be totally honest with you. You know, that's something to think about. So love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here. So, I, I, you know, that may not be even how your person feels about you, but that is, I feel like something to universe want you to know you know that love yourself first and you will experience the highest love of, of all from others right so maybe this person is gonna be that teacher you know how like sometimes you get in a relationship and you level up like if y'all break up you level up on that next relationship you dang show sure ain't about to mess with nobody who can't even compare to that right so maybe this lover that's in your life or coming to your life is going to be like a soulmate somebody to teach you a lesson you know situations come about to where you feel like you know what the best thing for me to do is heal myself love myself pour into myself because, hey, you know, so let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Let's collect some energy here. Let's see. Okay, and, and we start off here with the Seven of Cups. But this Seven of Cups is so beautiful. It's so heavenly looking, right? And there's no confusion here. It doesn't look like everything's all glittered up. You know what I'm saying? It don't look like it's a lot of options. Everything pretty much looks the same. So what the universe is saying in this relationship, if you confused about anything, don't be. You know what I'm saying? If you unsure about anything, don't be because it's all the same. It's just your perception that changes. So it's like nothing really changed in this connection. The only thing that's changed in this connection is you, right? So let's see. Woo. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Hold on, I gotta go fishing. Got to drop the car. And we have the Star. Oh, this is the DC deck, by the way. So we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Star here. And look, when you heal, you become on top of the world, but you first have to get grounded 
within yourself. I see you have the sword, this queen of pentacles. She has a sword. She has a shield. She has a wand. So it's like you elevating in your connections. Your standards are getting stronger and so are you. In no time with the star, you're going to be a master of the art of self-love. I'm telling you, with this star on top of the world, you're going to attract the world to you, the right person that's in this world. Somebody who's loyal and stable. Somebody who's a protector. Somebody who lives in their truth as well. You know, something kind of routine. Somebody you can depend on. Right. So don't be confused about what you feel when it comes to connections. Don't be confused about what you feel. Stay grounded in your energy, Pisces. And you attract what you want. We have the four of swords. Some of you need to go through a healing process. Some of you really need to go through a healing process so you don't have to be confused in your relationships. You don't have to feel like there are changes when they really aren't. The perception changes. The person stays the same. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be done, whether you in connections or not. I'm telling you, it's something about this love yourself first, this self-love thing. When it comes to connections, Pisces, maybe this isn't even a person at all. Maybe this is just a universal message about relationships, about you and how you perceive relationships. We have the six of swords. It's time for you to be at peace. It's like stop worrying about the relationships so much. When you're not focused on love and finding love it comes to you most naturally. So make peace with yourself first. Heal from all the confusion that you have about love, romance, and relationships. When you get to the ultimate healing point, which is this star, where you 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 be on top of the world. I mean, you will be like a magnet to everything that you're supposed to have. You have peace in your life. Healing oneself is the most important. When you're healing yourself, that's loving on yourself. That's like if you got a newborn baby or a child or somebody else's life that you're responsible for. You want to make sure you feed them great. You're going to make sure they eat healthy. You're going to make sure that they're bathed, they're clean. You're going to make sure that you take them to all their appointments. You're going to do everything that you can to make sure that this child grows up healthy and secure and that they're protected and loved. And that's simply what the universe wants you to do for yourself first before you go out here trying to get in connections because if you haven't done that with yourself willing to sacrifice for yourself like you would a child then you will never experience a true love you will always be confused when really love is vibrating at one frequency, the confusion comes in when you not aligned with yourself when you not loving yourself so there needs to be a healing process and you need to stay strong in your energy, protect your heart, protect your love, live in your truth and, and be passionate about that. You'll find peace. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And it's, you, this is not a race to heal the heart. Look how that greenery is. Look how green the Knight of Pentacles is. This is not a race to heal the heart. This may take some time. And when the time comes to take action, you will be able to offer your heart to the right person who will protect it. Be honest with it. Be passionate about it. Love it. You know what I'm saying? So I do. I feel like this may not be you and your person. This may be a universal message just really delivering messages about relationships. And we know you want that ultimate love, but know that you have to give it to yourself. And, and that's what it is. So let's see what this seven of cups is here. And it comes with the six of pentacles. And it's about the balance. It's about giving yourself 100%. Get open to receiving yourself. So you don't be confused. 
so you can be balanced when love comes in so you can get that ring a marriage a commitment stability let's see what this queen of pentacles is and it's the ace of wands you can start right now you can start right now being solid with yourself nurturing yourself Treating yourself, giving yourself the finer things in life. Just loving on yourself. <laughs> That's what the Queen of Pentacles is. She likes the finer things in life. But this Queen of Pentacles has a sword, a shield, and a wand. So it's like, you know, you got to protect yourself. But give yourself the opportunity, right? So let's see the star. This ultimate healing. This star is on top of the world. It's like Superman or Superwoman. You know, on top of the world. You got to be a superwoman to yourself. And it comes with the strength, right? It ain't going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But you have to put your foot down on yourself. You have to be disciplined within yourself. And that's basically what I feel, you know. And this uh, four of swords come with the ten of wands. And look how tightly this white thing is just closing up on those wands. It's like you've been holding on to this burden for a long time. And now it's just time to release it. It's time to release it and flow with life and love yourself. Because this is the end. You tired. You tired of all this pressure. You tired of being concerned if you will ever find that right person. If you will ever stop getting hurt. If you ever stop being lied to. Will you ever have a peaceful relationship? Will you ever have something that's worth even building? So it's like you tired of all the pressure. You tired of all the worry. What else is there left to do? You're not going to give up. So everything that you want from somebody else, give it to yourself. And it comes within your healing process. And you don't have to hold on to these burdens or thoughts so, so tightly anymore. You can be free to move on, to have peace in your life, to have more balanced relationships. Page of Swords. Look, this page got two swords. Make the decision for yourself, not for anybody else. Be the observer over your own life. Communicate it. Get you some daily affirmations. Uh, write them down yourself. Whatever you have to do. You know, keep your communication flowing with yourself. Speak it out loud what you want over your life. What kind of victory you want. You know, hey, make peace with everything that was. Be fearless. Be fearless. Don't be afraid to take a chance on yourself. Because with the Page of Swords and that communication, it makes me feel like these are things that you already know. But it's like, what's holding you back from doing it? It's not easy with the Strength card. You got to be strong. We know it's not easy to, to have a breakthrough, to change your condition and to, re, to change your logic, your thoughts. We know it's not easy to change your perception. Everything you used to believe about relationships, however you've been conditioned about relationship. The universe is just saying it's the age of Aquarius. Bring love into your situations and then you get love yourself first. So bring love into the situation. The situation is you. Love yourself first. If you want to attract the true love in your life, you must first have that be vibrating at that love level. Much as you love yourself, that's as much as love you're going to get from somebody else. This Knight of Pentacles come with the Seven of Wands. You have to be on the defense. You have to be guarded. You have to be picky. You have to choose. Right? You can't just go messing with the first person that come along. No, you got to have a standard. Remember, you working on yourself. You working on your own heart chakra. So when the time comes, you will know... 
who to offer that heart to. But as of right now, until you're healed, you are to be guarded. You cannot allow anybody to come in until you're completely healed from whatever traumatic situations you have experienced when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Until you've practiced that self-love and conquered the art of self-love, you must be guarded. You must protect your heart. Let's see what's crossing the energy here. And it's the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles talks about savings. Savings of finances. But when it comes to relationship, it's talking about saving yourself. Being patient. Holding on to all the love you have for yourself and keep it under lock and key. Keep it chained, guarded until you're able to be strong enough to know what you want until your vibration has reached its top frequency. So I hope this resonated with somebody. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day, Pisces. So we have the fourth chakra, and this is the heart chakra, and this one is relevant to peace. I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others and the world. Peacefulness comes in me, giving up the Love of power for the power of love. I invite peace to be a part of my life and I make time to experience my own inner stillness daily. I continually develop an inner sense of calm and, and, and I trust that everything will be right. Feeling good about myself will help bring peace into my life. So peace is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.